Hi everybody, you are watching tutorials. My name is Alex and today I'm gonna show you not to how to draw this character because I prepared this tutorial but I wouldn't repeat this um, in a screencast because I um, have a bad cold and uh, I'm running the temperature now. Um, so I decided to create a little bit more uh, um, more up to the point knife tool tutorial so we're gonna show you how to create this letter mark here in graphic designer so let's start with the alt n or option n on your mark and i'm gonna size my artwork with the, this block cover size uh, click ok ctrl plus command plus to increase your canvas and start with the well, okay, click R to grab a rectangle tool and draw a rectangle. I'm gonna change the color and grab the knife tool or click K on your keyboard. So knife tool is pretty simple tool. You need you can cut off any shape from any shape and create two passes. Let me show you how to do this. So hold left mouse button key, not ties it. Um, this red point is appear now and then move this pass in any direction and then release left mouse button key but be sure that you cross the shape so now you have two passes let me grab the point tool one pass is here for some of the reason I cannot cross it let's return to our knife tool again and let's do it right now I have two passes yes now it's work like a shell um, if you didn't cross the shape uh, you will make an incision so let me show you here probably I want to change the color here you see make an incision but then you can return to this and to this incision at any angle you see when you combine these shapes you will also cut a shape see it here so keyboard modifies if you hold shift key hold shift key while holding a left mouse button key with the knife tool your knife tool will be restricted at the angle of 45 degrees you see it here you can change direction only at 5 uh, 45 degrees uh, well uh, alt key is a little bit more uh, sophisticated let me show you if you hold alt or option key on your mark and hold left mouse button key that is it uh, your second point is now round and it means that you actually operate with, not with the point itself but with the direction handle and now if you release left mouse button key try it right now you see finally you can add a point here but it's also a curvy line you see it here it's a curvy line so uh, release your alt, alt key and you will slice a path this time it's a perfect pull so pretty straightforward tool you see but let's create some useful with it i'm gonna start with a bullet artwork and then i'm gonna navigate to my appearance panel and change the font style to x bold bold italic you see to make a bit more dynamic and beef it a bit so next we need to convert it to path so modify path Convert to pass Ctrl Shift P Command Shift P. You see, now it's only a compound pass. Grab your knife tool using K, using key. Then hold. Okay, don't hold left mouse button key, and draw a line that goes all of these letters, and this line should be straight below this counter of letter B you see it here let me draw where we're gonna create this 
So I'm going to grab the free hand tool. Sorry. My free hand. I'm going to draw these two passes. And you see here right below this counter and then right below this counter. So let's start. Brilliant. And then grab the knife tool again and right above. So with the point tool, uh, select this uh, uh, path in the middle and uh, click delete to delete this path. Then uh, create a rectangle with the height of uh, with the height to fill this channel. You see it here. So I fill this channel like so. Then give it black color, make a duplicate and size down this duplicate. I'm gonna position this duplicate next to this rectangle, the main rectangle. Then make a duplicate again. And then uh, with this duplicate selected, you can either delete it or you can uh, fill it with white. Next, uh, notice this is a rectangle, so I cannot operate with these two angles uh, separately, only with the uh, border radius itself. And in order to operate these two guys in front, uh, we need to convert it to path. So Ctrl Shift P, Command Shift P. Then draw a marquee with this subselect tool to select these both uh, anchor points and uh, head over the corner on your appearance panel and set a corner around 20. Brilliance. Uh, well, um, in order to enhance this artwork, you can, for example, if you wanted to, grab the pen tool, grab and create this kind of line of course, uh, to repeat like so, and then walk with this line uh, again. Let me show you. Uh, so, something like that would be okay. Of course, um, uh, this uh, area requires attention, but it's okay. So now uh, we need to uh, Ctrl G, Command G to group them and uh, to make even more dynamic uh, to the shape, we can draw a line. So grab the line tool, or click L and draw a line. Then grab the uh, select tool and duplicate this line like so and make some of the lines shorter, some longer. Okay, uh, play with this value as well. That I said we created this awesome letter mark in Graphic Designer in almost no time. So, ho hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you do, give a thumb up, subscribe to my channel, and share this tutorial with your friends. I want to thank you for following to the end. Have a great day!